Point is, I don't understand women on roads when they get on their bikes. The best example I can give you is whenever I see women on their bikes, here, especially college girls, they tend to dress up more when they take their bikes than when they actually go out for dinner with their boyfriends. <laughs> Have you seen that they will take one dirty bag? Out of the dirty bag, one dirty dupatta will come outside. <laughs> I know the weather here is horrible, but you don't have to overdo it like this. The dirty dupatta will be precisely put like this in one clockwise direction, then anti-clockwise like this, then side here, then under there. I mean, she'll be getting so... <laughs> and it does not stop there, it does not stop there. You think she's done? No, but then she'll take inner gloves, outer gloves, monkey cap, muffler, thigh guard, abdomen guard, chest guard. She would have covered each and every part in her body except her eyes. Sometimes going by the way she drives, you think that also is covered. <laughs> And then she will come and with all these accessories on, she'll come and stand next to you in Mount Road Signal and she'll be like, Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> hey, what? You don't recognize me. Yeah? <laughs> hey, if you look like an Al-Qaeda terrorist, means how can I recognize you? <laughs> I don't think men should laugh at these either because our dressing sense is the worst. Forget women. We are the worst when it comes to dressing sense. I'll give you the best example. How many of you here have worn flip-flops to the show? Look at this gentleman there. <laughs> I don't even have to ask the question. Stop. What is your name? Da? Gautam, 750 rupees ticket. You are wearing flip-flops. You know, flip-flops had a name back in those days. What were they called? <laughs> Hawaii chapel. You know where they were used? <laughs> Bathroom. See, barely a eye. But yeah. <laughs> but today he's wearing half-pant flip-flops sitting in front of like, like this. Okay. See, Kalamadakir. <laughs> 